Well, some of you may be participating in dry January by limiting or cutting out your alcohol intake altogether. But some of you who are still sipping, there is a way to still enjoy your favorite cocktail with fewer calories. Yes, this is actually possible. Joining us right now to tell us about these two delicious drinks is our friend J.M. Hirsch, the editorial director from Milk Street. He's been with us before. He's with us again. Hello, my friend. Happy New Year. I love that was the um, an, a Manhattan and a margarita. So let's get started with the margarita. How on earth are we going to cut calories there? So, you know, the secret to making great tasting lower calorie cocktails is to understand where the calories come from. Because actually liquor itself isn't that bad. It's about 100 calories for one and a half ounces. The problem is when we start adding sugary flavorings to that. That's where we get into trouble. So we're going to mm -hmm. make a coconut margarita that has loads of flavor and very few calories. We're actually going to cut the calories in half. So we are going to start with, of course, our tequila. We want two ounces of tequila. And the trick here is just to find ingredients that have lots of flavor without lots of calories. So two ounces mm. of tequila. To that, we're gonna add two ounces of coconut water. I love coconut water. It has like a bright flavor to it and it's really, you know, kind of refreshing, but no sugar. Mm -hmm. All right, two ounces of coconut And it's coconut also water. hydrating, JM. There we so go. So you can have your coconut margarita and right? get hydrated. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> To that, we're adding one ounce of lime juice, and then we're gonna add just the barest hint of agave or simple syrup, like a quarter of an ounce. I mean, it's gonna be like 10, 12 calories total. It's not a big deal. The key though, is we're gonna add about mm -hmm. six or 10 granules of kosher salt. You know, salt in our cocktails, just like oh. in our food, heightens and brightens all the other flavors. So that's gonna make a big difference. And that's it. Now we're gonna shake this up. And whoops, we always have a runner. I love your shaker, by the way. It's very sleek and Thank modern. You. Isn't it great? I love it because it also has a really tight seal. Love it. Love you know, it. I am, I'm mm -hmm. a klutz. I will spill cocktail all over the place. And that's, that's the thing. <laughs> all right. So since we're already I'm, morning I'm drinking, I figured we should fancy it up and do it in a cocktail glass. And that Absolutely. is our coconut margarita. Throw a lime in there. And that is our first that cocktail. Looks Cheers. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Cheers to you. I'm I'm cheersing with my invisible. How does it taste? I'm so jealous. Is it <laughs> so delicious? good. It's light, it's bright, it's limey. Tons of flavor, not tons of calories. You know the typical margarita can have over 300 calories. This has about half of that. Yeah, I know. You don't think it when you wow. sip it, right? All right. <laughs> no. And All then right. after the second one, you don't think about anything, never mind calories. The exactly. next one is the the next one is a what are we doing next the old-fashioned old yes a smoked mm -hmm. old-fashioned here we are actually going to flavor the drink with smoke because smoke hey it has no calories right now the important thing to right. know when you're working with smoke is that you want the inside of your glass to be wet because smoke adheres to a wet surface oh. better than it does a dry surface so all you do is put in some water huh. you spin it around and you dump it out that's it our glass is ready now we're going to create our smoke. Okay. So I'm using a cinnamon stick, but you can use any any ingredient that's flavorful and can burn. You could use dried citrus peel. You could use cardamom pods, bay leaves, whatever you like. Just try not to burn your hand. Vanilla stick? And which, a cinnamon stick, yep. And I No, but I'm saying, could you use a vanilla stick? Oh, uh, you know, it might be a little too moist to burn. Uh, you could give it a okay. try, though. Okay, Why not? Fine. So you can do this okay. with a little torch. You can do it on the burner on the stove and use a candle. Once it's lit, put it on a heat-proof surface. Overturn your glass. Can you see the smoke filling that glass? And by the way, the smell is amazing. Warm cinnamon. I mean, this is it doesn't witchcraft, get than that. JM. <laughs> now, while wow. that smoke okay. flavors the inside of our glass, we're going to make our old fashioned. Now, the old fashioned is a drink that you would typically make in the glass, but at the moment, our glass is occupied. So we're gonna do it in a stirring glass. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're gonna do three ounces of bourbon. You could also use rye if that's your preference. Okay. And we're gonna add, again, about a quarter ounce of agave or simple syrup, just to give it a little sweetness. And then another potent flavoring is cocktail bitters. 
because they add tons of flavor without adding any mm -hmm. sugar at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm using orange, but you could use chocolate, you could use spice. They make them all sorts of flavors. You can have fun with it. And that's it. That's the cocktail. I'm throw some ice in there. I don't want a lot. I don't like an iced old fashioned. Just chilling it and diluting it just okay. a bit. Stir it around. There you go. And then we're going to strain it. Now, we're going to. JM, tell us how it tastes. Yeah. Pour there it in there. Go. Let's, let's see how it tastes. Coming out? There we go. And the smoke you oh. made by yourself while you're pouring your drink. I'm going to I'm going to tell folks to head over to their oh. favorite bookstore. Your new book, JM's book, Shake, Strain, Done, is on shelves now. Thank you so much. I, I That was like Cheers. a chemistry lesson, too. So thank you. I know what I'll be drinking this weekend. JM, have a wonderful weekend. It's always great to see you. You too.